I think you would probably agree that we live in an incredibly selfish, self-centered, self-gratifying, self-promoting culture. So the problem is that if you want to follow Jesus, Jesus' teaching is diametrically opposed to a self-centered, self-ish, self-promoting culture. He calls us, invites us to be selfless, denying self and taking on the very nature of a servant. In other words, as Jesus followers, serving is not just something that we do. It's an action that reflects who we are. Serving isn't just what we do, a servant at our core is who we're called to be. So how do we become a faithful servant? You might say, I can't make clothes, so I can't give to the poor. So what I wanna do today is keep it really, really simple. So the first thing you can do is you can bring a lunch. What do, what, what do we mean by the lunch? Well, uh, David was the youngest of eight brothers, uh, the son of a man named Jesse, Ben Jesse. The older brothers were out fighting at war, or at least preparing to fight. And the father said one day, son, I need you to do something. It may not look important, but it's important to God. David, you wanna one day fight in the battle? First, you bring a lunch. First, you're willing to do what may seem insignificant. What you may do may feel like it's behind the scenes. If you wanna be great, you serve. The greatest among you is a servant. And one of the ways you can do this is simply being obedient to bring a lunch. Uh, the setting is just before Passover. It's a Thursday night. There's a secret meeting going on in the upper room. Jesus does, he looks around the room and he sees proud hearts, and dirty feet. And Jesus puts on a slave's apron, gets down on his hands and knees, takes a bowl and a towel and starts washing feet. Because Jesus knew the greatest among you is never a self-promoter, but he's always a servant. How do you become great? You become great by it being less about you and more about him, therefore more about other people. Because serving isn't just what we do. A servant is who we are.